Do you ever just get a suspicion that something's watching you, following you? You turn around and nothing's there, but you still have that feeling. So you turn around again and wonder if that shadow was there last time? Has something moved? You try to go about your day, but eventually you can't eat or sleep because you just can't shake that feeling that something's hunting you, waiting for the perfect time to strike. Anyway, I'm here again with Scott and Anne to play some more of the Dunwich Legacy campaign on Arkham Horror the Card Game. Hey again. Hi! <laughs> that was an opener. That was terrifying. Anne, did you catch it up a little bit on where we've been so far? Sure. Um, well, we went to the Miskatonic University and we did some investigating there, but everything went crazy and we got sidetracked from looking for the professor and we saved some children though. So that was, that was good, I guess, if you like kids. If you like kids. <laughs> <laughs> well, college students, I think. Me. Yeah. Yeah. No one likes college students. <laughs> <No. laughs> Glad we remember those. <laughs> um, and then we went to the Clover Club speakeasy and all hell broke loose and we fought some mobsters, well, attempted to avoid fighting some monsters, and we missed the second professor. So we're out two professors. On the bright side, we made it back to Dr. Armitage's house, he was the one who sent us on those quests, and he was not kidnapped or dead. So, <laughs> one out of three saved, right? So we actually earned the right to add a Dr. Armitage to someone's deck. Yay! And you think that makes sense for yours? I think it does. So I'm going to read the card. Please. Just to kind of recap. Um, he's an ally. It says, after you draw a card, discard that card and exhaust an, uh, Dr. Henry Armitage and gain three resources. So I'm in my weakness is that I'm indebted, so I start the game with less resources. So I think this would be a good ploy for me to have. And also, it uh, has some extra life and... and or down here, so. Yeah, allies usually do. You can always have them, um, you know, take some bullets or tentacles or whatever <laughs> words. Gonna be juice, yeah. so I'm going to shuffle into my deck. A little more business to attend to before we start. Everyone's upgraded their decks, right? Yes. yes. Yeah, Scott, want to tell us about your upgrades? Uh, so I got Sure Gamble. Uh, it's the only one I took this time, but what it does, if I pull a negative from the Chaos bag, I get to flip it and make it a positive. And I feel like last time we pulled a lot of negatives which is why I pulled that one. I've heard it's mostly negatives. <laughs> that bad, so. <laughs> You'll probably find a time to play that. I will say, I've also added to this game. Last time, I cheated, and I have to add a, uh, a token to the chaos bag. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. You cheated in the yeah, casino and speakeasy. Cheated. Yeah. <laughs> but I only did it once, so I'm, I think it's only one token. It is. <laughs> Yeah, so there is an Elder Thing token in the cast bag. That is right. We're going to have some fun with that as we go, I'm sure. I'm, ex I'm not excited. I take I'm not excited. <laughs> uh, Alright, so I got Stand Together, which gives myself and a friend at my location two resources and two cards. This is another way to, for us to try and counteract my weakness, Indebted. Sweet, and you get to share it with us. And I get to share it with you, which is lovely. So as a special treat, I'm going to make my upgrades live on video, and that's because I identified the strange solution last time we played, which means I get to spend four experience to add strange solution to my deck. I'm going to use a new toy that Seekers got called Shrewd Analysis that says when you upgrade an unidentified card spending its experience cost, you can upgrade a second copy of that card, but if you do, you make those upgrades randomly from all of the available options. We're actually filming this two days after Return to the Donald Legacy came out, which added another possibility that it can be. So I'm going to have you fan these out, and I'm going to take two of the Strange Solution upgrades out of the possible eight there. Okay, have you already Fantastic. shuffled these? Uh, give them a quick shuffle for me. Okay. And I'm actually going to sub them into my deck without looking at them. We'll just, okay. we'll just see what happens when I draw them. Yeah. Fun! <laughs> yeah. All, right. All right, here you go. Okay, I'm going to go with these two. So they're all positive bonuses for you, right? Yes, none of them are bad. Okay. Some of them are definitely better than others. <laughs> I would love if they include the one that is good for fighting, since I have nothing in my deck that <laughs> <of> fights. <laughs> but we'll see whether I got any. So you can always see our full decks via the links in the notes to this YouTube video. And while you're down there, if you want to make sure you don't miss the rest of our campaign, hit subscribe. All right, so here we go, the Miskatonic Museum. Several months ago, Armitage and his colleagues stopped a rampaging horror from tearing through Dunwich, a backwater town several hours north and west of Arkham. 
At first, you imagine this beast as a rabid bear, or worse. But the professor's description of the creature paints a different picture. It all began when a man named Wilbur Waitley entered the Orne Library looking for Olaus Wormius's Latin translation of a book called The Necronomicon. <laughs> Wilbur already possessed a beaten-up English translation by Dr. John Dee, but it was insufficient for his purposes. Armitage turned the man away, fearing what use the strange man had for the book. Waitley returned in secret, hoping to steal the book, but was attacked by a hound guarding the university. Armitage, Rice, and Morgan later discovered Waitley's body, a description of the foul corpse, semi-anthropomorphic and covered in fur, with a leathery hide and greenish-gray tentacles, causes you to question whether or not Waitley was truly human. So to check the campaign log, and because the investigators rescued Dr. Henry Armitage, we're going to read this next part. My colleagues and I were quick to put the ordeal behind us, Armitage says with a sigh, but it seems that things haven't fully resolved themselves. I'll tell you the rest later, but for now, it is imperative that we get our hands on that copy of the Necronomicon. If my instincts are correct, the assailants you've encountered will be searching for it. After all that transpired, I didn't feel safe keeping it at the library, so I brought it to my good friend Harold Walstead. He is the current curator of the Miskatonic Museum. I thought it would be safe in the museum's restricted hall, but now I'm not so sure. You must retrieve it at all costs. I fear terribly what they could do with the rights contained in its pages. Okay, with that... We're ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> so I think Anne was team leader so, last time. I think it was. Uh, right, yeah, who's going to be the lead investigator? Um, well, this is our third, fourth, third This game? is our third. Third one. Like, even though you've played before, Brandon should be our lead investigator. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is your turn. <laughs> please speaking. All right, I'll lead this one. Then let's check out the agenda. Restricted access. It has five due on it. Dr. Armitage has given the university's Latin translation of the Necronomicon to his associate, Harold Walstead, the curator of Miskatonic University Museum. Worried that someone might still be after the book, you have gone to the museum to recover it. Forced, when hunting horror enters play, attach the set-aside copy of Shadow Spawn to it, or add one resource to Shadow Spawn if it is already attached. Most of that probably made no sense. Nope. Um, you don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, want to read us the act? Sure. All right. Finding a way inside. Unfortunately, the entrance to the museum is kept locked at this late hour. A security guard is visible through the building's front windows, oblivious to his surroundings. Perhaps you can find a way to get his attention and convince him to let you in. This one only requires two clues. Nice. And, and how about the museum entrance, where we all start? All right. The Miskatonic Museum is an opulent and stately building supported by expeditions funded by the university. Its sizable collection of exotic artifacts, curios, and art has drawn visitors from all over the country. Read the other side, right? Please do. All right. Um, investigators at the museum entrance cannot gain resources. You can resign here. Eh, how important can a book really be anyway? Just the Necronomicon. <laughs> and then for a little flavor, um, as you approach the museum, you draw your coat tighter around your body to keep the wintry air away. The full moon drapes the building in ominous bright moonlight. Dun, dun, dun. And one more thing we should probably take a look at now. The museum halls, which is the one connecting location, says the entrance to the museum halls is locked. You cannot move into the museum halls. So we're stuck here at the entrance. The museum entrance gains Action, test five combat to attempt to break down the door to the museum. If you are successful, immediately advance to Act 1B. So there are two ways we can advance the act here. We can either try to get both of the clues at the entrance, which represents us getting the security guard's attention, or we can break down the door. So uh, do we want to go with you first? Try okay, you want me to, try to, yeah, get, try, try to get the clues, try to get the guard's we attention? We never get to move the act so quickly, so I'm kind of more excited to just do it. <laughs> Okay, I can see what I can do. I don't have anything to help me with the investigation what's at all. The, what's the um, thing for the knocking down the gate? Just uh, the For busting down the door, it's, you just have to pass one combat test of five. So if we have like combat icons, we could help you. I don't have any. I mean, I have... I mean, I could pass that first, first time. Maybe we should do that. 
like with one one move, I think I could pass you it. You don't have that sure gamble in your hand, do you? You could also use that to help pass it. I do have sure gamble. Oh yeah, <laughs> so that's I another. Even, I don't even know if I need it, unless I get an auto fail, which is a possibility. It is. Um, <laughs> I'm all for it though. What do you think? Should we? Oh, uh, my fear is that breaking down the door causes more problems than distracting the security guard. That's fair. I am actually not that co so I would just be testing at plus one. I'm not that confident that I could get clues without spending some time looking for cards to help. So okay. I'm all for letting Anne try the door. Okay. All right. I'm game. Okay. Try. One I'm very try. confident. What do you so, got? So um, I'm gonna play my unexpected courage, nice. which has two two wilds, but it says max one commitment. So I can just add two wilds. So I'm gonna add two more fights. So that gives me six versus. Five. Five. Mm -hmm. And um, and then, should I fail, I have something for that. I love that. Okay. Um, so hopefully no auto fails. There's the bag. The skull. Which is? Minus one. Minus three instead if hunting horror is at your location. So it's just minus one, so I beat it five. You did beat it five. All right, I didn't even need to use my special thing. You've beaten down the door. So yeah, the halls say, if you're successful, immediately advance to Act 1B. Uh, you read the bottom part. All right. With great strength, I break down the door to the museum, <laughs> making considerable noise as I do. The security guard sees you enter, cries out in fear, and rushes towards the back of the museum. The door leading into the museum hall is broken, revealing museum halls. Advance to Act 2A, breaking and entering. And it's, you said reveal the museum halls, right? Yep. Museum halls is connected to each copy of Exhibit Hall. And as an action at the museum halls, investigators at the museum halls spend clues equal to the number of players as a group to put the top card of the exhibit deck into play unrevealed. Okay. So yeah, we built in the setup this deck of six exhibit hall cards. They all look the same on this side, but they'll all be different on the back. Okay. We can explore the museum by bringing those into play. First, we need to spend some clues to do it. So, because you broke and entered, the Necronomicon is being kept in a restricted hall somewhere in the museum. If an investigator enters the exhibit hall restricted hall, advance. So we just need to find the restricted hall in this deck. That was all just your first action, right? That you was have, just my first action, you yeah. You have two more? I do have two more. Um, I think I would like to move into the museum halls. Great. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to collect an extra card from Sounds good. Option. Would you like to go next? Sure. So how many, sorry, we need clues to open this? Yes, we need clues to add exhibit halls to the map. So there are still two clues on my location. I don't particularly want to stay there not gaining resources when I'm not very confident about picking up those clues though, so I will move to the museum halls. I think I will lay down field work. It's an asset that says, after I move to a location, if that location has at least one clue on it, I may exhaust field work to get plus two to the next skill test I perform. Doesn't have any clues on it, though. This one doesn't, but I'm going to move again, and um, if that one does, got it. I'm going to be glad I have this. So I'm going to check out the administration office. A sturdy wooden door with a plaque next to it reads, Administration. In the hall outside the doorway, you see a row of paintings depicting the museum's many curators through the years, each adorned with their name and years of employment. Perhaps it's just your imagination, but they look more distressed in recent years. Okay, it's a Miskatonic location with one shroud, and it will have three clues on it, so this looks like a good place to investigate. You cannot investigate it, though, while you have four or fewer resources. I'm actually going to need to build up my resources. That's a pain. The office is meticulously organized, from the books in alphabetical order on the shelves to the stacks of forms organized by category on each desk. A coat is draped over one of the nearby chairs. Perhaps somebody other than the security guard is still here at this late hour. Mm -hmm. Well, my plan was to go there and then use my Ursula 
wants to put around free investigate when I move, but I don't have enough resources to investigate here. Mm. So I will play emergency cash, gain three resources. That does it for me. Um, then I think I will go to the security office. So okay, one, see. two. <clears throat> security office. A plaque next to this doorway reads, Security. The door is ajar, and inside you catch the scent of blood. All right. Good luck with that. <clears throat> All right. Inside is three shroud, uh, two clues per investigator, so six. All right. Um, and then, let's see, it says double action. Look at the revealed side of an exhibit hall in play or the top card of the exhibit deck. Somebody must have left the security office in a hurry. Blood stains the floor under the desk nearby. There are some maps of the museum in here as well. Hmm. Three shroud to investigate that place, huh? I don't need resources or a card right now. You know, I will try. <laughs> I will roll the dice on, on investigating. So I am doing it with three lore. I have a card that might help me in case I fail. All right. This one feels good. All right. Plus one. Yeah. <laughs> so four to three. <laughs> Your instincts on what tokens feel like is not often correct. <laughs> it paid off there. Yes. Um, I think that's it for me. Yeah. And just as a reminder, how many clues do we need to... Uh, one clue as a group. One clue per player. Oh, or like clue. times oh, the number of players. So we need three clues to reveal a hall. Yes. Okay. Okay. Enemy phase. There's no enemies. It's a Yay! quiet night in the museum. I'll take it. Well, and there might be an enemy. There is one. <laughs> <laughs> there is that that little blood thing, but I'm not too worried about it. And let's upkeep. Okay. Another gun. Jesus, I am built to fight stuff this time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll find something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I want to, but I'm built for it. <laughs> okay, it's our first Mythos phase. I'm the lead, so I'll start us off, huh? Oh, after I put a Doom on Restricted Access, one out of five. Our old friend, Beyond the Veil, Surge, put it into play in my threat area, and if my deck ever has no cards in it, I take ten damage. Oh, and we got this early. Slithering behind you. If Hunting Horror is in play, add one Doom to it. If Hunting Horror is not in play, search the Encounter deck, Discard Pile, and the Void, which is another area that can be referenced, and spawn it at your location engaged with you, then shuffle the Encounter deck. <laughs> so first draw of the game, I'm going to search this deck for something called the Hunting Horror. Have we seen him before? We have not. Okay. Hunting Horror spawned from the void. It's 2-3-2. Two, two. Hunter, retaliate. Forced, at the start of the enemy phase, reveal a random token from the Chaos Bag. If the revealed token has an icon on it, ready Hunting Horror. So if we evade it, but then get unlucky and draw an icon, it's going to ready and attack us anyway. Okay. okay. When it leaves play, place it in the void, which is the place that that card re referred to that it can come back from. The ah, okay. So, is that a peril card? Slithering behind you is not. Okay, so I think I can help you. Um, I'm in a position with my hand that I might be able to fight him, and I have this card that says, let me handle this. So it's a fast card, so I don't need to, to spend an action to do it. And it says, play after another investigator draws a non-peril encounter card uh, before resolving that card's effects. So I'm considered to have drawn the encounter card. I get plus two uh, to each of my skills while resolving that card's revelation effect. Awesome. So it makes it easier. Thank you. So you drew Slithering behind I you. I drew Slithering behind me. And you got a Hunting Horror as your reward. There we go. I'll take care of that. Also, the Restricted Access Agenda says that when Hunting Horror enters play, attach the set-aside copy of Shadow Spawn to it. So it gets this power. Want to take a look at that? Should I have looked at this before I helped you with it? <laughs> um, Shadow Spawn. Shadow Spawn remains attached to the Hunting Horror if it enters the Void. Hunting Horror gets plus one fight, plus one health, and plus one evade for each resource on the Shadow Spawn. If there are at least three resources on the Shadow Spawn, Hunting Horror also gains massive. So many words and I understand none of them. <laughs> so that's going to make the Hunting Horror stronger as more resource tokens get put on that Shadow Spawn card. There are none currently. Okay. 
But what our agenda tells us is that every time the hunting horror goes away and reappears, it's going to get a resource. Okay. So it's going to keep coming back. If it keeps coming back, it's going to get a little stronger each time. Got it. Yeah. So I should just kill it. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I'm going to go for that. <laughs> okay, and guess what? You still get an encounter card. I still get another encounter card. Visions of futures past. Revelation. Test five. What's the brain? Willpower. Willpower. For each point you fail by, discard the top card of your deck. Okay. All right. So test five against four. Can mm -hmm. I add anything to it to help? If you want to throw icons in, you can. Discarding the top card of your deck is not a bad not consequence, as, as long as you don't have this thing that kills you if it runs out. Oh, yeah, which I don't. So <laughs> nah, we'll just we'll give it a try. Okay. Oh, our first Elder Thing token. Thanks for that, Scott. You're welcome. All right. Minus three. If you fail, discard an asset you control. So I do, but I don't have an asset. But yeah, so that's good news. So how many do I fail by? I have four minus three is one versus five to four. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four. Could be worse. Okay. <sighs> oh, come on. <laughs> oh, your favorites. <sighs> Alright, Arcane Barrier, attached to my location. As an additional cost to move in or out of attached location, test Will of Four. If I'm successful, it goes away. Otherwise, cancel the effects of the move or discard the five top five cards of my deck. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> <clears throat> Oof. Good start, guys. Alright, it's our turn. I have a pretty good shot of just doing three investigates, getting all three of those clues. You mind if I go? Let's do that. Okay, so I'm testing four versus one. Let's just power through three of these. A cultist icon. Minus one. If you fail, search the encounter deck, discard pile, and void for the hunting horror and spawn it, if able. I'm, I'm not able and I didn't fail. One clue for you. Thank you. Do it again. Skull. Minus one, minus three instead, if the hunting horror is at your location. It's not, so I pass. Thank goodness. One more clue for you. And <laughs> the elder thing. Minus three, if you fail, discard an asset you control. But you didn't fail. I did not fail. Minus three means I tie and win the tie. Okay. Oh, all three clues. Yeah. All according to plan. Domination. <laughs> Okay, so you're just punching this thing. I'm just gonna punch it. Shadowy slithery thing I comes up behind you and just. Poof. I have a gun. I could take a hit so that I could use the gun on it. Um, I think your plan of killing it and then playing the gun so it's ready for next time is fine. See. All right, so four versus two. Please don't die. Minus one. All right. Good. Here's a uh, damage. Minus two is it's two and two. A, it's a tie. tie. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. And now is that... He's still alive. <laughs> I got one more, one right? More so you have one more action to kill. Mm -hmm. Minus one. Nice. Bingo. Yay! All right. He gone down dead. Hand me those and I'll put them in the void for now. But he can come back from the void. It can. We've seen several effects that bring it back from the void, so... I don't like that. Don't, don't let like you guard him down. Oh, Keep checking it. those shadows behind you. <laughs> That so that's is, the end of me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the end of your turn. <laughs> I'm dead. Alright. So I'm going to use Streetwise. I'll spend two resources to get three plus three lore for this test. So I'm six versus three right now. That's this one. This one. It's Only good. minus one. Yeah, you're good. Alright, I'll take it. I want to do more. Mm, I'll spend two more resources with Streetwise, since it's not turn-based. Six versus three again. Minus one. All right, two nice. clues. Okay, we have enough between us to get two locations. I like it. Should I go for another back. clue, or should I try and open the gate? I think I'm going to try and open the gate. So it's a test of... Yeah, so when you're, when you're doing that, you are like attempting a move, yes. and then we will find out whether the move succeeds. I will attempt a move. Four versus three, come on, plus. No. Uh, minus three, if you fail, discard an asset you control. You also have no assets. Okay. So you're safe from that, at least. <laughs> All right. But 
So does that, do you I still have an action then? You failed, no. So your options are to discard the top five cards of your deck and move, and like and complete your move, or to cancel your move. I don't mind, I can still do some investigating then. Okay, so you're going to stay back here. I will stay there. Okay. And that's the end of your turn. That is the end of my turn. That's everyone's turn. There's no enemy to act, so we can upkeep. And it comes so quick. Mythos phase number two. Here we go. Obscuring Fog. Revelation attached to your location. Attached location gets plus two shroud. That's a great thing to put on my location with no remaining clues. Yeah, yes. yeah. Beyond the Veil. Put Beyond the Veil into play in your threat area if there's no copy of Beyond the Veil there already. Force. If your deck has no cards in it, take 10 damage and discard Beyond the Veil. So. Watch out for that. Keep Dude, some cards in my deck. I feel like we're going to be riding the edge here on decks. <laughs> it's, it's possible. That also had Surge, so here's one more for you, Anne. Oh, fun. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So kind. Cursed Luck. Put Curse Luck into play in your threat area. You get minus one skill value during the skill test. Forced. After you succeeded a skill test by one or more, discard Curse Luck. Thanks for that. It followed us here from the casino. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ah. Visions of Futures Past. Test 5 will. Alright. Wants me to discard from my hand, I see. Deck. I'm sorry, from my deck. Come on, something good. No, not that one. This one. Plus one! Whoa! Which, uh, means I only fail by one. Okay. Just <laughs> one card. So. Delightful! Uh, manual dexterity, that's okay. Our turns. Would you like to go first since you can open the first hall? Sure. Gladly. I will move up to the museum halls, out of the foggy administration office. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll just single-handedly spend these three clues and place an exhibit hall into play. That was two actions. I'm not ready to charge in there yet, actually. I think I'm going to play a Tooth of Estli, which is an asset. It's an item and a relic, and it gives me plus one willpower and plus one agility when resolving tests on treachery cards. Oh, man. And well, if I succeed at a skill test while resolving a ability on a treachery card, I get to draw a card. You might be able to help me get out of this room. <laughs> I'm setting up to maybe do <laughs> oh, that next, next round if I, I'm still I, trapped. I would, I would appreciate that. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I'm trapped, so I think I'll go, if you don't mind, Yeah, Ian, please and do. And I will investigate. And I will use Streetwise once again. So, plus three, six versus three on this. Let's, nope, not that one. I like this one. <laughs> Minus three! It's tough. Still get it! <laughs> not, not elegant, but it works. <laughs> Here you go. Um... Good, I didn't have to use the other card I was going to use. Uh, Alright, do I want to spend all my resources? Why not? <laughs> right. That's the spirit. Alright, so plus three again. This one. Yeah, I don't like this one. Minus two. Still no, good. That'll do it. You have an action left. Alright. I'm not going to go for the door. I'm actually going to let you help me out. I'm going to go for the clue so we can open two halls at once. Sweet. Um, that's my plan here, so... Elder sign. Elder sign. Plus one for each resource you have. <laughs> Just plus one. So, plus one. That'll do it. That wins it. Yay. All right, so wow. we've got two halls open. Jenny's on the case, all six <laughs> clues. I don't know what's happening over here. <laughs> Especially because my hand says I want to punch things, so... <laughs> but your money... <laughs> <laughs> my money says that I don't want to punch things. <laughs> all right, Anne. Uh, uh, okay. I'm going to start off by... Spending emergency cash, which gives me three resources. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And um, I'm going to first get my 45, which um, gives me four ammo, and that costs four. So I'll give you four. This mail. And then I have one move left. You know what? I think I'm going to just do my other 45. <laughs> wow. All right, dual wielding. I like it. There's my last four. Right. We're big spenders this time. Big spenders. Total of eight bullets. That ought to hold off any hunting horrors for a while. Well, I have to get the cursed luck gone, and so I'm, I'm just preparing for the future. I like it. 
Still no enemies, so let's upkeep. Alright, top of a new round with the Mythos phase, 3 out of 5 unrestricted access. Oof. I found a twist of fate. I'm going to reveal a random token from the chaos bag and see what happens based on the draw. Come on, good luck. The thanks again for this Elder Thing token, cheater. Ugh. If you reveal a bad symbol, take two horror. Oh no. Yeah, that hurts a little. Obscuring fog. Attach it to my location, limit one location. Um, it gets two shroud. Yeah, Forced that's... after it's successfully investigated, but it has no clues, so that's fine. Yeah, those are landing in really nice places. That's great. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Beyond the Veil, we all know oh, what that no. does. Yeah. So let's get that second card. Stalked in the Dark. If Haunting Horror is in play... It readies, engages you, and attacks each investigator at your location. Otherwise, Stalked in the Dark gains Surge. Okay? Okay. <clears throat> Passage into the Veil. Test 3 Will. Uh, this test has plus 2 if uh, Haunting Horror is at your location. And it is not. Um, and if I fail, I get to discard the top 5 cards in my deck, or take 1 di direct damage and deal 1 damage to each of my allies. Does that count no. even though we're not in the same location? Allies refers to ally cards. Oh, not, my allies, not yes. the other players. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, all right, so we're testing free will. I can't add to it, as we discussed. <laughs> <laughs> I could maybe save myself. Minus two. That won't do it. Yeah. Hmm. What's on the line here? Five cards or one damage? No, I'll take the one damage. Yeah. I think. It's probably a smarter move. If you had like an ally you didn't want to also die, then I don't have any allies. Harder choice, but so you have no friends. Go. Yes, actually none of us do. <laughs> You're We're friendless. Not yet. Not yet. Where, are, where are all our allies? I'm gonna call my guns my friends. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like Zoe. Right. <laughs> God speaks to her through her guns. I'm getting into character. <laughs> um, so if we want. Do you want to open the door for me? Oh man, am I making a trip all the way down there just to let you out? Yeah. Because also you could just leave, lose five cards, and we presumably never have to go into there again. I just feel like we're going to be riding that line on how big our decks are going to be at the All end right. of this game. All right, if you want to play it safe, but I'll, I'll play your safe just game. Just to play devil's advocate, if, we take the hit, if you take that hit, then we get into this room earlier and perhaps get more clues and we, we resolve this whole thing faster. We um, sure do. How yeah. many do I get to... Because that's the other way to avoid our decks running out, is just win the game sooner. Right. <laughs> just right. say. You know what? I will, I'll take the hit. Let's see what I'm losing. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, we gotta do this. We gotta... Oh, we gotta... Ooh, we gotta, so, we gotta hold a funeral for every card here. <laughs> ooh, I lost an ally. Hmm. This is four. Backstab. Another fight. It's on a fight heavy. Oh, a flashlight. Ooh, that would have been helpful, actually. I'm totally, right. I'm totally keeping that because it was ridiculous, but you forgot to take the test. That wasn't a sure thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well then, four versus three. Minus one. So you fail. It's Do I want three versus you know, two. I'll eat, I'll eat it. The funeral is over. <laughs> I'm sad about the flashlight. But I got to move out. But you got to move out, and we may never have to go there again. And can just let the security office be in its cozy little barrier with no <laughs> um, Not caring. All right, uh, so my next two moves then will be to give you guys options on places to go. Woo! So I'm going to spend first three clues to take this location. Mm -hmm. uh, it says the same thing yours did. What alluring artifacts are displayed inside? Do they too hold a sinister secret? This one will be to the side. Okay. And then we'll spend another three, and we'll take the third card, which also says the same thing, <laughs> and we'll put it up here, so that way we can kind of see our triangle of places to go. They do all say the same thing, so that you can't tell from the back what they are. <laughs> yes. Um, so, you guys have choices. Okay. Uh, where right. would you like to go? And that's the end of your turn. Oh, yes, I'm done. Yeah, good turn. Right. I, I'm impressed that you got all those clues. I guess you, you paid a lot of money for them. But I, did, I, did, I did pay <laughs> but some But you have money. a lot of resources, <laughs> yeah. so it you're, worked out. You're Jenny. You're extremely rich. <laughs> that's, that's your whole thing. Jenny's rich because she doesn't stuff. <laughs> yeah, do you want to check out some rooms, or sure. do you want me to? I'll go. Okay. 
Um, I'm going to... What do you feel good about? Let's go here, because it's closest to me and I don't want to lean over the board. This might seem like a dumb this has got a lot question, to but I'm going to assume these other places will have the clues necessary for the last three. It's a safe assumption. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I am at the Exhibit Hall Egyptian Exhibit. Ooh. Forced, after you fail a skill test while investigating this location, lose one action. Mm. And it has six clues. Sandstone sculptures and bejeweled artifacts from another era cluttered this exhibit, like the tomb of an ancient pharaoh. Okay, so if we get, yeah, get all six of those clues while dealing with that hazard where we can lose actions as we attempt it, there's a victory point on the line. I like the looks of that. Um, so that was move one. Now, I'm just curious, if I was to go back here and then come over here and open this up, would that be beneficial? You don't have to. I don't know what you do have to I do have to go back. They're not connected. They're like spokes on a wheel. They actually, so that has another connection on it. Uh, once we start exposing these, we might find that they do connect to each other, but we have to expose some more of them first. Cool. So my thought process is, is I don't, if this has, what does it say? Um, after you fail a skill test, and what's the skill? Three? Yeah, yeah you're not. I'm not going to do it. You're not equipped so, to So, And I'm going to lose one because of curse lock. Yeah. So why don't I just go open another room? I like it. Um, boom. This is the Hall of the Dead. Uh-oh. Ooh. After you fail a skill test while investigating this location, take one harder. Ooh. Mm. I need no reminder of my mortality. I know my death is imminent. <laughs> and How many clues? Uh, six. Okay. With the Shroud of Three. So that's the end of my turn. Okay, so I might as well go into one of those as opposed to yeah, checking out a new one. I you, can go you open. Get that, that auto investigate too, right? Yeah, I still wish that I had something more useful to help me investigate, but here's what I'll do. I'll play a card that will help me search. Search my deck for something useful, I mean. I'll start actually by spending three resources on Pathfinder. It's an asset that says... During your turn, if you're not engaged with any enemies, you may exhaust it to move to a connecting location, and that's a fast action. So I get essentially a free move every turn now. Great. I'll use it, move into the exhibit hall. I think you should come up to the Egyptian hall, because that one's horror if you fail. Versus losing actions? Sure. I mean, you can yeah. decide, but... It's just all, it is nice, there's various reasons it's nice to stick together. Okay. I'll, I guess you're you're leaving, but it means that I could throw icons into your like treachery that next turn or something. Whatever you want. Yeah, I think I'll, st I'll, st I'll stick with you. Okay. I'll, I'll protect you. <laughs> You'll protect me. I'll protect you. Sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll stick together. All right, so in the Hall of the Dead, now since I'm Ursula, I get a free investigation, and I'll go ahead and exhaust field work to get plus two to my value for this one. So I'm testing six versus three. Minus one will pass. Is this your free investigation that you get when you move to a new location? Yes. Okay. So, yeah, so I played Pathfinder, got a free move, and then a free investigation, so I've still only spent one action. Okay. I'm going to investigate again, and I'm going to put Eureka into, this, into the test. It's a skill card that if this test is successful, then the person performing the test gets to search their top three cards of their deck for a card and draw it. So that sounds great. It puts me up to five versus three. Elder thing. Minus three. <laughs> Minus three if you fail, discard an asset you control. That's awful. <laughs> can you add anything to it last second? No, nothing I can do about it at this point. So I will discard Pathfinder because there, I have more copies of that floating around. And my Eureka fails. That was brutal. Oh, yeah. so you also take a horror. Oh. Sorry, you. Yep. I was yep. no. trying to help you, and I feel like I just hurt you. No, you're you're absolutely right. Don't blame me for the doom typing. You keep drawing doom. Stop drawing doom. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna draw a card as my last action. I need to find something to help investigate. Ooh. There you go. I found one of my solutions. Ooh yay! I'll, I'll share. I'll I'll tell you about it later. <laughs> All right. So upkeep. Right. Right. Ready for Mythos? Yep. Doom number four, unrestricted access. That's going to advance next round. 
Stalked in the Dark. This is the one that gains surge because the Hunting Horror is not in play. Cursed Luck. Put it in my threat area, minus one to my skills until I pass a skill test by one or more. Okay. Twist of Fate. Reveal a random token from the Chaos Bag. Plus one. If you reveal a symbol or a positive number, nothing happens. Mm. Awesome. Nothing happens. Terror from Beyond. It is a peril. Choose one of the following card types. Asset, event, or skill. Each player must discard each in his or her hand that is the chosen card type. What's it going to be, Scott? Mm. Skill. Hmm. Okay. Cost me a card, that's all. I have one card. Only cost me a card, so good pick. All right, I will yeah. take it. And then it's everybody's turn again. That wasn't so bad. No. Okay. Not, not so bad. I think I should go open up the other one, maybe? Yeah, I like that. You guys cool with that? Sure. Yeah. I'm... So I'm going to spend two. One, two. What'd you find? And let's see what I found. At the Baskin exhibit. Forced. After you enter the location, lose all of your remaining actions and immediately end your turn. While you're at this location, you get plus two evade. And there's one shroud with zero clues. Hmm. So it is, and then I lose my last. It's a dead end. You lose your last end. action. So that's okay. I only have one action left and I'll just get out. What is your flavor text? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just curious because this is such a strange exhibit. A strange chill fills this hall as if the climate of the Alaskan wilderness has traveled along with the artifacts on display. Hmm. Yeah, I have no idea whether that's a real word or not. Athab Athabascan? I guess we should Google Alaska. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure that's, that'll be the first search result if you type Alaska into Google. <laughs> so as, as, as part of our Google searching. Uh, so sh you should have used my turn first to do something else and then move. Yeah. On me. Well, you never know what's going to happen. So. Nope. Do you mind if I go next? Please. Uh, I'm going to help myself out and then I will try and move to you to help you out. Sure. So I'm going to spend four resources to play an ally. Dario El Amin is an unscrupulous investor. Uh, what he does for me is he gets, if I have ten or more resources, which I currently do not, we get plus one will and plus one lore. Nice. And then, as an action, if there are no enemies at my location, I can get resources, so that will help me with some investigating, I think. Sweet, because uh, I'm not pulling my weight. So that's one. And then just to kind of help myself with resources, one emergency cash. There you go. Thank you. And then I will move to you, and I can help you with maybe some investigating. Cool. I don't really plan on investigating, though. Probably not this turn. I need cards and stuff. Okay. So I'm going to first draw a card. Hey, here's some help. <laughs> Speaking of allies, I'll play an emergency catch for three resources, and I'll spend those three and another one to make it four for Dr. Milan Christopher. Ooh. Yay! He's a Miskatonic ally that gives me plus one intellect, and after I successfully investigate, I gain one resource. Thanks. Great. And that's my turn. So still no enemies, we're upkeeping. One for you. Thank you. Oh, I drew a weakness. Drawing the sign. Put drawing the sign into play in your threat area. Your maximum hand size is reduced by five while checking your hand size during the upkeep phase. So just minus five. Yeah, which takes it down to three. I think you have to discard some right now. Okay. And then I have to double action to discard this if I want my hand size to go back up, which at some point I would like to. Probably. Okay, we're to the mythos phase where restricted access is advancing. A creature of the void. From the shadows of the museum halls, a terrible creature slithers forth, is long and serpentine and propelled by black leathery wings. If hunting horror is in play, add one doom to it. If it is not in play, search the encounter deck, discard pile, and the void for hunting horror and spawn it in the museum halls if able. Shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. So good news, a little bit of a wonky thing about the way this scenario works. 
while we're resolving the back of this agenda, that power that makes it bigger each time it appears is not currently on the table. So it actually doesn't get bigger, it just reappears. Oh, cool. In the museum halls, it says, so it's going to go into this crowded, foggy room. I'll go kill it again. Please do. Shadows Deepen is our next agenda. The shadows in the museum grow and become darker. As the shadows lengthen and shift, they begin to suggest the sinewy body of an uncanny creature darting at the periphery of your awareness. It has seven doom and that exact same ability. Whenever the hunting horror enters play, it's going to add a resource to that shadow spawn that makes it bigger. Cool. So you need to go kill it, please. I need to go kill it. <laughs> okay, I'm still doing counter cards. Did you do it again? I did it again. Are there more than one? No, there's one copy of this. We just shuffled the deck. <laughs> no, but are there more than one Hunting Horror? It oh, no, there isn't. Oh, good. So sli Slithering Behind You says, if Hunting Horror is in play, add one Doom to it. And that's it actually... It's harder to eat. That's actually all it does. Uh, no, it's just one Doom towards advancing the agenda. Oh, okay. The It's resources on Shadow Spawn that make it harder to eat. Oh, okay. So I can see... If we put seven condition. Doom on, on this, ostensibly, it would t count towards this. Uh, yeah, so this number always looks at the doom anywhere on the table, so on itself, and like that counts towards us right now. Mm -hmm. So like, right now there's one out of seven. Pushed into the beyond. Uh, choose and shuffle a non-story asset you control into your deck and discard the top three cards of your deck. If a copy of that asset is discarded, take two horrors. Oh, okay, so I have to take one of them, mm -hmm. and I lose my bullets? Yeah. I am not happy about that. Um, shuffle so, it into your deck, right? Shuffle it into my deck and then discard the top three. If a copy of this asset is discarded, I have to take two horror. So that goes in. The good news is you know you don't have two copies of that card in your deck that could give that you That is horror. true, because <laughs> the other one's on my thing. Yep. All right, so three. One, two, three. She's not as sentimental as me. <laughs> nope. No I'm guns? good. Do you, no need guns. Hold, do you need to hold a funeral for any of them? Nope. Okay. I'm not sentimental. I'm a killer. <laughs> uh, passage of the Veil, test three. Uh, this test has plus two difficulty. If I fail, discard two or take one direct damage. Then one to my allies. So, three versus three. Nope, not that one. <laughs> Skull is minus one right now, which means it fails. I fail. I will take... I'm going to take the damage. I'm, okay. I don't trust the discarding in this game, so... Okay, our turns. Well, we've got our work cut out for us now. Um, I can go first and go kill that dude. Cool. Um, let me think. Does he move? Will he go after us? Yes. Okay. He's a hunter. Who does um, he hunt? doesn't have prey, so it's going to hunt whoever's closest, but because we're probably all going to be tied, we'll choose who he hunts. Okay. First move here, and then I engage with him. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to... Yeah, so we'll hand you this Bite pair him. of cards. So it's four versus two, mm -hmm. and then if I use a bullet... It's another plus one to your skill and plus one damage if you hit. All right, right so yeah, let's give it a try. Five versus two. I've got to get this. Nice. Two damage. And then I'm going to do it one more time. Um, you yeah. could just punch him with and not waste a bullet. I could, but I don't. I want to kill him this round. So. Want to I want to make sure he's dead. Skill. Yeah. yeah. It's a good thing you did three. because that's minus three. But I get it anyway. You do? Because I get rid of the horror. Okay. Get rid well. of the. We'll send the horror back to the void again. Bye. And the doom's off the table. Nice job. That's why you keep me around. <laughs> uh, so right. she killed the monster. She did. I'm going to go first if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to double action to discard uh, my weakness, which means I can get more cards in my hand now. Yeah. So drawing the sign is now gone. I have one more action. Uh, I think I'm going to investigate. If I build up my resources, Dario gives me plus one, which would be helpful. If I just spend them, I get plus three. So I'm going <laughs> to spend the resources. Okay. For street on Streetwise. Mm -hmm. and this one. I like this one. 
Oh. Auto fail. I don't like that one. <laughs> don't like that one at all. And I'm done. And in the which room is that again? Oh, oh. you take a horror. Yeah. And in the hall of the dead, you take a horror. Okay. Your turn, sir. And I might be able to help you with a couple if your cards don't. Uh... I'm also cursed. So, yeah, if you wanted to give me any intellect icons, I don't have any in my hand, but I would accept I your help. Give, I can give you at least one card. Okay, I'll take you up on that, because with my cursed luck, but Milan Christopher giving plus one, I'm at four versus three. So yeah, if you can give me any intellect icons. I'm going to give you a sneak attack, which will give you one intellect and one fight if you happen to need it. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be fighting anything as, a, no, as fight, I'm... Fight those clues. Okay, so plus two. Minus two. All right, I pass. Annoyingly, not by an extra one, so cursed luck is still on me. But thank you for the icon. I yeah, no problem. I, I can't help, you. I can't help yeah. you with cursed luck again, though. You are on your own if you... <sighs> If you decide to get that okay. third clue that we need. I do also get a resource from Alon Christopher. So, yeah, I don't want to just brute force this and take horror every time I I fail the test. Mm -hmm. So, I think I'm going to draw a card. Second action. And third action. Okay, well, you cleared out the enemies, so we will upkeep. Upkeep. Okay. Mm. Resource, please, sir. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. And Mythos, Doom 1 out of 7 on Shadows Deepen. Not too bad. Stalked in the dark. Since there is no hunting horror in play, Ian Surge. Visions of Futures Past. Test Willpower 5. For each point you fail by, discard the top card of your deck. I'm wondering if I could throw some icons into this to pass it to get rid of my Cursed Luck. I'm at 4 already. So well, you'd have to pass it by 6? I'd have to get a 6. Yeah, that's that's too that's a rough one. That's too much. I don't want to throw in several cards in my hand just for that. So, okay, I'm just gonna draw. So I'm going into this with three versus five. Skull minus one right now. So I fail by three. I'll lose three cards. Could be worse. All right, twist of fate. Reveal a random token from the chaos bag. Let's give it a try. Be kind to me, oh universe. Auto fail. <laughs> um, if I take two horror. Oh, ow. Twist of fate. <laughs> Minus four. Uh, any other number was take one damage. All right, I'll take a damage. Jenny's hurting, but I'll yeah. take a damage. Here's what I'm going to do, I think. I really want to get rid of this cursed luck. I'm going to play magnifying glass. It's fast. It gives me plus one intellect while magnifying. While magnifying. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it gives me plus one intellect while investigating. And I lost my Pathfinder earlier, so I'm going to play a new copy of it. Then Pathfinder gives me a free move out into the halls. So then as my second action, I'll move back to the exhibit hall. And when I move into a room with clues on it, I can use field work to get plus two to my next test. So now I get to investigate, and I'm at four, plus two from assets, plus two from field work is eight, minus one for curse luck, seven versus three? It's <laughs> well, pretty good. It took some dancing through the museum, but <laughs> let's see if this gets me there. Minus one, that will do it. Yay! So, uh, gain a clue, finally discard curse luck, and I still have one action left because that was my free Ursula investigate, so I'm going to go one more time, just six versus three. Great. <laughs> auto fail. Yeah, auto fail. Super. Happens to the best of us. So, so me... after I fail, I take a horror in here. Ouch, I'm at four out of seven. Oh, you know what? I'll, I'll put that one on Mala Crisper. Yeah, that's smart. Yeah. I have no chance. I thought about going up. I don't have any chance of winning. Mm. Um, so, there's no point in that. So, I think I'm going to spend my, my round stocking up. Okay. That's cool with you, gentlemen. Please. I have emergency cash. I'm going to spend that for three. Thank you. And then I'm going to lay down my leather coat, which is some protection. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to draw a card. Jenny. Uh, I don't feel like losing anything. So one, two, and then I will spend two resources to in streetwise and investigate. Okay. 
Minus one for this goal? Yes. So I get it. Yay! Yeah. Nice. Okay, we have four clues between us. I would really like to finish off that Hall of the Dead and get its victory point before I leave. So maybe in a couple rounds we can meet and yeah, I'm gonna, spend all our clues. I'm going to try and get this one and then we can kind of knock out two more rooms, I think. Sounds good. Okay, there's no enemies, so we go straight to upkeep. Thank you. And Mythos Face, up to two Doom on Shadows Deepen. <laughs> Arcane Barrier in the Exhibit Hall. Ooh. Slithering behind me. If Hunting Horror is in play, add one Doom to it. If Hunting Horror is not in play, search the encounter deck, discard pile, uh, or the void, and spawn it at my location. Engage with me. Which is fine. Better you than me. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. And so now we do add a resource to Shadow Spawn. So that's adding, I think, one to each of its three stats there. Okay. For each resource. Three, four, three now. Okay. It's still within like two bullets. Mm -hmm. We'll kill it. And I have that again now. <laughs> yeah. Visions of Futures Past. Ugh. This. That card loves you. Whoa, Ooh, Elder Sign. I don't fail this test. Yeah, plus six. I will take it. Uh. <sighs> All right. right. Our turn. Can I just try to power through this investigation? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm testing six versus three each time. I'm going to just hopefully So get... you only need to get two. Yeah, I really want to get all three though for the victory point. That's oh, yeah, I'm just saying if, yeah. if, you wanna, if you want to move out and like open yeah. up rooms. I mean, that's a thought is if I could get two clues and, and leave, which would let us spend those clues around sooner if like could either of you two. Because even, and if you have nothing else to do, you don't have to have any of the clues to be the one to spend the action. I have oh, <laughs> she does have to fight. She does have something else to do. That's right. Yeah. Minor detail. You Minor are, detail. have a. Shadowy sneak. That's been my you. entire job this game. Is just stand in the hallway and kill him. Someone's got to do it. Open some doors, kill him. Open some more <laughs> doors, kill him. Well, we'll find some more doors for you soon. For when that's dead. <laughs> Keep you busy. So I do my best. I okay. Do my best to commit. I'll investigate. Six versus three. Minus four fails. <laughs> Man, okay. Uh, that's another horror from the Halls of the Dead. I will try it again. Skull is minus one, I pass. Thank you for the clue, and I get a resource from Milan. Now it'll be next round that I make it out with the clues. Minus two, I get it. That's it for me. Okay. Zoe, want to deal with the... Yeah, I'll do, I'll do it. So I'm going to spend a bullet to shoot him, which brings it to... Five versus three. Cool. Okay. The skull. Minus minus, one. minus three if the hunting horror is at your location. But I have lucky, which is a fast card, and I get to play it when I would fail a skill test. So get two plus two for my uh, skill value for that test. This is the perfect time for that. So I'm gonna play that, and I pass the test and get two two uh, damage on him. Oh, thank you. I'm going to go again, fire another bullet, pew, and that makes it five versus four, or five versus three again. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't like doing that with my left hand. <laughs> Felt wrong. Felt wrong and dirty. You do you, whatever works. <laughs> Skull again. Minus three which again. Is minus three, which is a fail this time because I don't have an more fast. Bad news, it has retaliate, which means it hits you when you miss. Okay, so. Uh, one damage, one horror, I think. Uh, yes. One, yeah, one damage, one horror. Thank you. Um, and that's okay. my three turns. Yeah, so hunting horror is still going strong. I should have. I should have used my, I have an unexpected courage, which would have boosted me too, mm. but I didn't think to use it beforehand. Yeah. I guess I'll just investigate for a clue with him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure it's all quiet and fine in the museum halls. It's fine, it's fine. Um, so I will spend two resources, get that. This one. Minus two. 
So I'm still on top, actually. Yeah. So I get that clue. Nice. Seven clues between us. Um, I will move here. Yeah, I'm gonna do. I'm trying to help you. I'm gonna try and help you out to help us out. So wait, what are you doing? I'm gonna try and move here. Moving to the B-hole Just to see if I can open it. If I can, I'll cancel it and then it'll be done. Okay. So I'm banking on a plus... <laughs> minus three. Minus three if you fail, discard an asset you control. Sorry, Dario. You really screwed the pooch on this one, Scott. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to... Tried to be nice. Tried to help. He actually wasn't helping me that much. <laughs> I've been spending resources so fast that yeah. he doesn't... Uh... Alright. So... So the enemy phase finally has an enemy. Upkeep, though, first? No, no. after enemy. Okay. Yeah. So you're going to get attacked for another one and one Okay. Okay. And now upkeep. Alright. Oh, no! Yeah. I drew my Call of the Unknown, it goes into my threat area, and now at the beginning of my turn I choose a location other than my location, and I need to investigate it successfully or else I take two horror and shuffle Call of the Unknown back into my deck. On the bright side, that buys me some cards in my deck, so beyond the veil doesn't kill me. There you go. <laughs> but the two horror is not ideal when I already, and I only have three sanity left. Alright, new Mythos phase. Three out of seven Doom, and... More visions of futures past. <laughs> Are these visions of things to be, or things as they might be? Or could these horrors have already happened? Five willpower test for each point I fail by, discard the top card of my deck. I am just going to let it ride. With my Tooth of Esli, four versus five. Skull is minus one, I'm going to discard the top two of my deck. Hey, there went to my other weakness. That's always nice to see. Yeah! Well done. Locked door. Attached location with the most clues and without a locked door. The attached location cannot be investigated. Um, which is this guy. Yeah, that goes to the Egyptian exhibit. Okay, maybe we just are never gonna... <laughs> we might never, because it, once you spend all the clues we have, hopefully we'll uncover the place we need to go, yeah. and it'll be fine. It's got that sweet, sweet victory point on it, but... <laughs> <laughs> we've got bigger fish to fry, I guess. I mean, I don't mind if you want a victory point and then try and get out of there. <laughs> we need at least one victory point. Yeah, I definitely want the one in the Hall of the Dead. <laughs> Even though I keep getting horror failing these tests. Terror from Beyond. Choose one of the following skill types, or card type. oh, that's the card types one. What am I going to pick, guys? You don't get to ask us that question, that's peril. Skill. What are you going to pick? Skill. Okay. Oh. Sorry, guys. It's only two, I, it's fine, out of... I didn't have any skill in my hand for you. But nice. I needed that to beat this dude. I'm really glad you didn't pick Asset. <laughs> oh no. Skills by yeah, I Except I don't think I can beat him now without my skills. I might be able to help you. <laughs> yeah, you're okay. You two We are at the same together. location. So let's, let's take this moment here. Can I go and try to join you? Because then if I'm in the museum halls also, then I, also, I might have icons to help too. Okay. Cool. Do it up. And then so, we can all spend our things anyway too. Yeah. So I'll go for that last clue, six versus three. Oh, at the start of my turn, I have to choose a target for Call of the Unknown. So, and I'll mark it with this. I'm going to choose the museum halls. Why, what does that do? I, if by the end of my turn, I have not successfully investigated the museum halls, then my Call of the Unknown deals too hard. But you can't investigate it. I can. There don't have to be clues there to oh. spend an action <laughs> investigating. So, so we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Investigating the exhibit hall. Six versus three. Minus four. Brandon. This is killer. Draw better. There's only the one in the bag. This is the, that and the auto fail are the things that that lose the test. Okay. We've got to try it again. And I'm not going to throw icons in. Plus three should be plenty. Damn it. Minus two. Thank you. There you go. One clue and one victory point for us. Get yes. Get the hell out of there. All right, so that was two actions. Number three, I'm going to attempt to move. I'm facing down the arcane barrier. I want to make sure to get through it because my deck is running a little slim. So I've got three willpower icons I think I'm going to throw in. Okay. okay. 
That puts me at, with my Tooth of Estley, seven versus four. Zero. Great. There we go. We'll discard the barrier. My Tooth of Esley lets me exhaust it when I succeed at a treachery card test to draw a card. I'll take that. And you hmm. technically moved? Or you did move because you passed it. And you get a free investigation. I did move. And I get a free investigation for moving, which I'll use to try to delay the inevitable and I call the unknown. So I'm investigating against two Shroud. Actually. Plus oh. two shroud. Your next game <laughs> oh, is no. four shroud. <laughs> Forgot about the obscuring fog. It actually oh. mattered. Okay, that's still fine. Um, yeah. So I'm at plus two. Oh, come on. The elder thing. Minus three if you fail, discard an asset you control. <sighs> I'm going to discard my field work. I'm not finding it too useful here. I'm not moving around that much. And because I did not successfully investigate, Call of the Unknown deals two horror to me. In order to not be defeated, I have to put it onto Milan, which kills him, drives him insane. This is actually really scary because I have, I'm one horror away from dying and I have the Sharon's Oval, which means it would be, I'm, I'm one horror away from being defeated and I have the Sharon's Oval, which means that would be death. And I would start a new character. Oh, man. Shit. <laughs> I'm really staring at that thing, wishing I didn't have it right now. Maybe we should have gone to the Egyptian one. <laughs> I thought horror would be easier to take. You would think. So, I'm gonna, I've gotta finish, finish off this dude of mine. I can give you two okay. icons. That'll give you... What do you have? Four? I can give you two icons. That'll give you six. Versus three. Okay, I could do the same, and I guess the question is who's, you know... If... Let's do just this Scott's first, and then I still have to fight him one more time, because I don't have the bullet that does two anymore, two damage. Oh. So I have you to do this what? twice. Maybe I will go, and I will shoot. I can play Jenny's twin 45s. So Even better. Plus two, so I'm at five versus three. That gives me four points. Well, remember, you choose how much you pay for it, and you get that many bullets. Oh, uh, like resources? It has the X cost. Yeah, so you decide what X is. X is going to be three bullets. Okay. Then. I will spend hard knocks for six versus three. Okay. What do we think? Before we do, do you know this... What? If you guys give me one more icon... I can give you the knife. Are sure. you okay with the knife? Yeah. All right, so that'll put me at seven. That way, if I draw a minus four, she doesn't get hit. Yes. Well, you could take the hit, but I don't feel like doing that. This one. Yes! Elder Sign! Plus three. Look, he's All right, dead. So he's yes. dead. Fantastic news. Back to the void. And I... Oh, I spent a bullet as part of that. Mm -hmm. So let's discard this. Thank you for the knife. Thank you. Um, um, so I still have two actions. I'm going to group spend clues. So you have... Is her, is her gun fast? So you have one action, because he played it. Oh, I have one action, so I'm gonna spend I'm just gonna pull out a room for us to cool. explore. You had two clues? Two clues for me. Here's one of mine. Here's the latest exhibit hall. I'm gonna move these here so we can this is all neat. Alright, and then if anybody else wants to, if you want to go open that room up for us, maybe it's our restricted hall that we need Should to go to. I spend three more things and open up the other one, or like uh, put another room down, or hmm. should I go check the room first? Oh yeah, you know you should put the other room down. Do you have any more weapons in your hand? Mm -hmm. I would deal with the whole your unarmed situation first. <laughs> okay, you're right. All right, so I'm going to buy my automatic. So four bullets, please. And then I'm going to use my other, my second action to lay down my machete. Nice. That's three. There we go. And um, then I'll spend my last action moving into this room and opening it. Okay. What'd you find? It is the Restricted Hall! Yes. Oh! While hunting Hora is at this location, this location cannot be investigated. Exhibit not yet open for viewing. Victory point one, Shroud of three, and six clues on it. All right, there we go. And because you got that, you get to read the back of this Yeah, card. you advance the act. Fantastic. All right. 
When you enter the restricted hall, you find the curator of the museum clutching an ornate statue as if it were a club. His suit stained with blood, a panicked expression on his face. The security guard you saw earlier lies in a pool of blood nearby, his intestines strewn about in a grotesque display. Your stomach turns and you resist the urge to vomit. I tried to stop it, but... The curator says quietly, his voice quivering, whatever did this, it's still nearby. <laughs> Choose an investigator to take control of the set-aside Harold Wallstead asset. Search the encounter deck, discard pile, the void, and all play areas for hunting horror, and play it in the exhibit hall. Ready. Advance to Act 3A. Okay, Harold Walstead says you get plus two intellect while investigating miskatonic locations, which is just about everything in this world. And forced, when he leaves play, remove him from the game and add one tablet token to the chaos bag for the remainder of the campaign. So keep him in there. Yeah, so we choose who, ha who gets to take control of him. I would love to take control of him because I just the one... <laughs> A, it'll help me investigate here, and B... Just having one more place to put one horror <laughs> might save my life. Yeah. yeah. Is that fine? Yeah. It means that in, in, as a trade-off for potentially saving my life, it might add token to the chaos bag for the rest of the campaign. But small price to pay? Sure. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> All right. We are now searching for the tome. Somewhere in this area is Olaus Wormius's Latin translation of the Necronomicon. You must find it and escape while you can. Objective, if there are no clues remaining in the exhibit hall, restricted hall, advance. Okay. So our final objective is to get these six clues. Clear the room. But, and we forgot to do this right when we read it, the hunting horror has spawned there, so it's with you. It's fine. I'm prepared. And we can't investigate here while the hunting horror is in it. So you could either, like, take, in the future rounds, you can either, like, move so that it comes with you and take hits in the process, or we just kill it and then start investigating. Okay. And that was the very last action of the whole round, right? Mm-hmm. We already went? Yep. Okay, so... Nope. The timing is unfortunate. Hit. You get hit. Yeah. Here's a damage and a horror. Okay. Your horror situation is looking pretty grim. We can't let you get hit again. I'm moving in. No, I'm, 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 well... No, I can't take any down here. Okay. Yeah, I can't get hit again. Okay, so we gotta make sure it doesn't retaliate when you fight it. At least if you get defeated, you're not dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. What, I'm just out of this game, this yeah. round. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'll keep. I actually still haven't shuffled okay. my deck for my weakness. Beat Cop! Oh, great. Can you put one or two sanity on him, too? I can put two sanity on yeah. him. That's fantastic news. Okay, Mythos Phase, Doom number four on Shadows Deepen. Ephemeral Exhibits. Test intellect three. If you fail, lose one action for each point you failed by. As long as I'm not risking losing and taking horror, I'm a happy camper. Yep. Are you watching the exhibits, or are the exhibits watching you? Um, my intellect is four while I'm not investigating, so that's fine. This is, by the way, this has two on it now, right? Because it came back into play a second time? Um, it does, yeah. All right, continue yeah, with Good call. Minus one, I uh, pass. Twist of fate. Reveal a random token. Minus one. What's that do? Um, if you reveal any other number, take one damage. I one damage. Can, you can live with that. I can live with one damage. Good. Okay. Ah, ephemeral exhibits as well. Mm. It's three more, so it's just three versus three. Yeah. Lose one action. Okay. Oh, that one was warm. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> Minus two. Damn. Uh, so I only have one action next turn. Oh, yikes. That sucks. Okay. And if you get retaliated on by that thing, it'll defeat you. I am well equipped to come in and evade it. Should I start there? I think so, because I really need to play my beat cop so that I have some yeah. protection against death. And if I move in and evade it, then attacks also don't cause retaliations. Yeah. Why don't I do that? I actually... <laughs> might as I think I'm, I'm going to play one of my strange solutions that I got randomly at the start here. Yay! It is the strange solution freezing variant. 
it uses four supplies, and it says, as an action, spend one supply, evade with a base agility of six. Wow. There yeah. we go. All right, so I'm going to exhaust Pathfinder for a free move into the restricted halls. That was my first action since the move was free. Second action, I'll engage the hunting horn from you. Gracias. And third action, hopefully this doesn't fail, I'm going to evade it. I'm going to start with six versus its four and throw in two more icons to make it eight versus four. I feel pretty good about those odds. Okay. Minus one. All right. Thank you. It's evaded. Thank you for spending sure. your entire turn to help me survive. <laughs> I mean, it also moved me into the room that I want to end up invest investigating anyway, so okay. it's you were on the way. <laughs> Could you have, when you moved into the room with that free thing, have done your free investigation? Uh, no, because the room cannot be investigated while the hunting horror is Got out. it. Yeah. Got it. All right. So you're done. You want to play your beat cop? Yeah, now? let's do that. Cool. I'm going to play my beat cop for Actually, four. Actually, hold on. I'm just going to take my action. I'm done. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, so sad. But hey, you, so made sad. It. you made it to the restricted hall. Uh, I'm going to play my beat cop, which he costs four. And then I'm going to play trusted, which is fast. And I play only during my turn, and I attach it to an ally I control, and he gets an extra health and an extra sanity. Oh, you're a little better off in sanity. I'm in a much better place now. Um, that's really good news. You um, still have two actions. And I still have two actions. I can shoot him even though I'm not engaged with him, mm -hmm. so I'm going to do that. I spent one bullet, which mm -hmm. brings it up to five versus four, and then I have my beat cop, which brings it up to six versus four. Okay. I've got two icons. Why don't I make it eight? All right. Let's do it. Minus four. So that's... <laughs> Glad we did that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're good. Two damage, good shot. And one more action. All right, I'm going to do it again. And you said you had something... Um, I saved this one, but I can give you one icon. Awesome. One bullet brings it up to five. Six plus yours, seven plus my beat cop. And so it's seven versus four. Okay. Nice, nice. two. You're good. We're two good. more damage. And he's dead. No. Well, you gotta do one more thing. You have to kill your beat cop. Uh, 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 she has the upgraded beat cop. It just deals one damage to itself. Oh, nice. Okay, hunting horror back in the void. Nice job. Hey, gosh. Now we just have to get six clues then, before, yeah. it, before it appears again. And that's the end of my turn. Alright, there's no enemies for the enemy phase, so we upkeep. Okay, Mythos phase. Do number five on Shadows Deepen and Passage into the Veil. Oh no. Test willpower three. The test has plus two difficulty if hunting horror is at your location, so it's no longer there. Yay. Let's just, okay. I can't boost it. Probably don't need to boost it. I'm at four versus three. Unless anyone really has icons to burn. I don't have icons to give. Okay. I got nothing. <laughs> Alright, here we go then. Up by one. Minus three. I fail. I must either discard the top five cards of my deck or take one direct damage and deal one damage to each of your allies. That would kill Harold putting a token in our bag, so I'm going to choose the five cards from my deck. Oof. Which leaves my deck at four cards, so we need to, we need to wrap this up, people. Yep. We need, we need to finish this up. Crypt Chill. Test four brains. If I fail, choose and discard one asset I control if you cannot take two damage instead. This isn't so bad. you got lots of assets. And right. lots of health. <laughs> so I'm testing against four brain, and I have four brain. Yeah. I have uh, Fearless, so it says if this test is successful, heal one more. So, and that adds an extra brain mm -hmm. to my willpower, to my collection here. So it's five versus four. Yeah, see what happens. Oh no. Oh no. There's some bullshit. <laughs> All right. Um, and so I have to get rid of an asset. Mm -hmm. And I think at this juncture, I'm going to get rid of my leather coat. Cursed luck. Ooh. That's okay. I have plans. I have plans. Big plans. Yeah. 
Do they involve getting those clues? Yes. Good. Those are the plans I care about. <laughs> Can I go first and try to get a lot of them? Yeah. I will then. I'm going to investigate. Harold Walstead is plus two, and my magnifying glass is plus one, which puts me at seven versus three. I like that. Great. Minus two, I'll get a clue. That rhymes. <laughs> Do it again. Zero, I get a clue. And last action. Minus two, clue. Thanks. Excellent. Did my part. You guys wrap it up and we got this. And go for three. Okay, mm let's see. So right now, if it's three, and if, I'll, if I spend, it'll be six versus, no, five versus three. Oh, because of your curse luck. Because of my curse luck. And I've got an icon for you. I have no cards. I also have an icon for myself. So I might take it and just try and knock this out. Yeah, I like that. So let's do that. So I will spend two with Streetwise. So now I'm at six. I will spend an icon. I should need to discard all that. So now I'm at seven. And let me put one in two. So you're at eight. Minus one from your curse luck is back to seven. That one feels warm. I don't like it. <laughs> this one. Minus one. Yes! Nice. Right, so I think that kills this too. It does. No more curse luck. So I get a clue. Yeah. And then I will spend another two resources. Put me at six again. Zero. Nice. Right. One more success and, and you got it. Oh, uh, spend another two resources. Mm -hmm. Don't like that. Uh, let's go with this one. Minus two. I got it. Got it. Yeah! All right. All right. That is the objective. Take a look at the back of the act. All right. There are no clues remaining in the exhibit hall, or in a restricted hall, advance. All right. At last, you find the locked case containing the Necronomicon. The tome, over 800 pages in length, is filled with all manner of macabre imagery, formulae, spells, prophecies, and descriptions of creatures from beyond the threshold of space. Without a doubt, it is a dangerous book. But, its secrets could be very useful. We have to make a choice. The investigators must decide. Choose one. It's too dangerous to keep around. We have to destroy it. Or, it's too valuable to destroy. We have to keep it safe. The Necronomicon. It's the whole reason we're here. So destroying it would well, be a, a big. Uh... Frodo inside of me is saying, "Destroy the <laughs> ring." <laughs> it would be a big fuck you to the doctor who sent us here. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing like if, if we were to destroy the book. It's not like the game's over, right? No, the uh, the camp. Oh, the so, campaign. Oh uh, yeah, the, this scenario the is is yes. over, but <laughs> the campaign will continue either way. Okay. I feel like what's going to happen is, if we destroy it, there's going to be a moment where it's like, if you would have it, you would know the rights to shut this down. But I also feel like we're going to go somewhere, and they're going to be like, here's 15 more enemies because you didn't destroy <laughs> it, and they're all chasing you now. I, uh, yeah. So. I like to, when you don't really know what's going to happen, I like to boil it down to, what would Jenny and Zoe do? Jenny would keep it because she likes keeping. Things. Ursula would absolutely keep it. She is like Indiana Jones. Basically. I would rip it to shreds, <laughs> stab it with a my machete, and shoot my gun into it. If I had a basilisk tooth, I would stab it and kill Voldemort. It's, I'd do it. All right. Well, you're you're sure about destroying it. I'm gonna say Ursula says keep it. That means it is Scott's decision. I'm rereading Jenny, Jenny Barnes's backstory to see how she would decide. All right. Just as a reminder, Jenny Bar Bar Barnes' backstory is, Jenny Barnes has spent the majority of her young life in pursuit of a creature comforts fine dining in the latest fashions. It just falls apart as that. As <laughs> the goes down. Uh, that all changed when she received a letter from her sister Isabel. In this letter, Isabel confessed that the mysterious forces were aligning against her and that she feared she may fall victim to some paranormal threat. It was the last letter Jenny received from her beloved sister. Jenny has since returned to the States to track down and investigate all occult occurrences she can find. Hardly a wilting flower, she has proven herself a crack shot as well as a fearless and clever investigator of the unknown. Until Isabel's disappearance is explained, Jenny will never relent in her search. Jenny would keep it. <laughs> Alright boys, since I'm going to have to deal with all the monsters that this will spawn, just know it's on your head. <laughs> <laughs> 
My <laughs> my thinking, I'm sorry, Jenny's thinking, <laughs> is that if if you keep it, oh yeah, that's right. If you keep it, you will be chased. But if you don't keep it, probably not chased as much. Hmm. But Jenny kept it, so. <laughs> Jenny kept it. Uh, which resolution did it say to read? Uh, let's see, if we keep it, R2. The Necronomicon is more than just a book. It is a tool. Within its pages is a wealth of information about the forces and creatures you have encountered. Knowing how useful it could be in your endeavors, how could you possibly bring yourself to destroy it? Besides, as long as you keep the book safely in your possession, you will still be foiling those who, used to, who wish to use it for nefarious purposes. In your campaign log, record that the investigators took custody of the Necronomicon. The investigators have earned the Necronomicon card. Any one investigator may choose to add the Necronomicon to his or her deck. We will address that at the start mm -hmm. of the next play. You have given in to the temptation of power. Add another Elder Thing token to the Chaos Bag for the remainder of the campaign. I blame you, Brandon. I don't know. It seems like, both, like of these, both of these came from you, Scott. I like no, you both. no. <laughs> and you were very, very jumpy on Earth that day. <laughs> Each investigator earns experience equal to the victory X value of each card in the victory display. There were no enemies with victory, but two locations. But we and we got two locations, so two. Yeah, or we got two out of three locations. Okay. So two more experience. It's yes. it, it definitely is a trickle in this campaign mm -hmm. for the experience, but enough to enough to buy a few things as you go. What do you guys think of this one? It's a little different. It's as close as this game really gets to being like a non-combat. Yeah. There's just the one monster, but a lot of the time... But you and I still almost died, so there's <laughs> yeah. something to be said for that. That right? room did a number on you. It did. Yeah, had some bad luck in there really added up. I'm re extremely relieved I didn't die here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's an unusual treachery deck, because, or it's an unusual encounter deck, because it's treachery all the way through. There's nothing else. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. Well, we seem to get through it without having to go through a lot of the. Um, we we did move uh, the, the agendas. Acts, the agendas. Yeah. We didn't have to go through a lot of the agendas. We so did that's move good. reasonably quickly. Yeah. Yeah. It, this, it gives you plenty of time. Yeah. Overall, I don't consider it a like it, it's a little it's on the easier side mm -hmm. as far as the scenarios go. So next time we're going on a ride. All right. <laughs> Join us next time on Optimal Play when we are hopping on a train. In Lovecraft's universe, what could go wrong? Nothing. <laughs> we'll look forward to it. We'll upgrade our decks. Be ready for it. Until then, be optimal. <laughs>